Hello folks, this is John Strand, the Truth Maverick for Totally LA, a new right network, joined with my friend Christian Walker. Hi everyone. And we're here reporting live in Hollywood in Los Angeles, California, which is still locked down. Don't even get me started, but Christian's going to walk you through it. So behind us here is the very historic Arclight movie theater, which is also shut down, as you can see. And uh, we just wanted to give some thoughts about why the entire world seems to think we can't be still living life. And, uh, and, and it's not just a matter of, oh, I didn't get to have my ice cream today. People are being seriously harmed. People are dying, actually, from these lockdowns and from the total destruction of the economy, of businesses, of the flow of life. Christian, what is going on right here? Well, I could talk about this for two hours, but, you know, it started as uh, 12 days, 14 days to slow the spread. 15, I think. 15, whatever it was. And then it was um, because we didn't want to overwhelm the hospitals. Well, then it was, oh, people are keep getting the virus. People keep getting the virus, which, which at the beginning they said no matter what happened, everyone who was going to get the virus was still going to get it. So that didn't make sense. And then suddenly it was about a vaccine. And now one of our governors is saying, you know, the vaccine that's coming isn't going to be good enough. So it seems as though the goalpost keeps moving. And when you look at what's going on, some of the states with the tightest lockdowns, like New York, like California, have some of the highest deaths. These lockdowns simply don't work. People's mental health is being harmed. It's out of control. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it turns out there actually is no science for lockdowns. The, the, the world has never locked down healthy people. It doesn't make sense and it, we just proved it painfully this year. Also, are you aware about what's going on in Sweden where they didn't ever fully lock down the country and a lot of the fake news media likes to hurl slurs at them saying, oh, they're killing their population and acting recklessly. And now they have one of the healthier populations. They're, the virus there is more under control than most of their European neighbors, and their economy is still functioning because they didn't kill it for no reason. Oh, well, I, I've seen a little on that, and I think um, a lot of European countries didn't lock down as tight as we did, or as tight as our Democrat governors and Democrat mayors forced us into, um, yeah. which, which is huge. If you look at uh, what the media did to Governor Ron DeSantis in Florida, they slaughtered him. They were talking about how bad of a job he did. Of course, he's a Republican, and he didn't lock down his state of Florida as tight as New York did, and uh, Governor Cuomo's uh, death count was one of the highest in the country, so it seems as though the media is super biased against Republicans, super biased towards tight shutdowns, which doesn't make any sense. Why are you so against our freedom? And, and, and super biased against uh, science. <laughs> I mean, these guys talk about science like they, like, I don't even know what it's like. They don't even know what science actually is. They don't follow real numbers and facts. They just paint pictures of doom and gloom and science, say yeah yeah it's science is whatever they want it to be pretty much yeah it, it, it's, it's literally become an art form to them it's yeah, absolutely it, it's yeah. nuts so christian you raise a really good point that there's a very important distinction we need to make in that america is a constitutional republic so it is a federation of of numerous states collected together each one of those states is autonomous they have separate individual governments that run them, headed by a governor. So it is the governors who really have the most tangible influence on how a state responds to a statewide crisis like a, like a virus or an epidemic or whatever. So talk to us about that difference, why in the, in the media, in the fake news deluge of deception that we're getting drowned in constantly, it's Donald Trump didn't care about the virus or he called it a hoax or he, 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 he didn't want to take aggressive action to fight against it and keep people safe, all of which is just utter nonsense. It's lies. But they keep saying that so people believe it. Oh, Donald Trump didn't do anything about the virus. It's his fault. It's his fault. Talk to us about, as you were mentioning, the differences in states between governors and why it, it comes down to other people, not just Trump. everything's Trump's fault. Well, um, at the very beginning of this whole virus thing, Donald Trump tried to um, stop the flow of Europe or stop the flow of travel from Asia. And all of the Democrat Party called him a xenophobe. And now suddenly they're saying he didn't act quick enough. Yeah. Um, 
And then you look at certain states, of course, Democrat states with like New York with Governor Andrew Cuomo, um, and he was actually sticking in COVID patients into nursing homes. We know that COVID affects elderly patients more than it affects anyone else, at least um, the death toll with elderly is higher than with anyone else. Um, so wh when do Democrats have to take some responsibility? It is not um, President Trump's responsibility to babysit the entire country. That's why we're broken up into states and that's why we have governors. And it seems as though to me that the Democrat government governors didn't do their job or their deaths would be lower than Republican governors. And that's not the case. Yeah. Take a look at South Dakota, where we have a real leader in place as a governor who never locked the state down at all because she had the sense to say, you know, my citizens are functional adults. They're smart. We're working hard to give them the proper information, protection, everything that they need in order to, to handle this virus sensibly and smartly. And then she let them live their lives and do their jobs. And South Dakota's economy is, is handling this lockdown much better because the governor didn't lock South Dakota down. And their virus numbers, the virus numbers are, talk to us about the virus numbers. They, they're so all over the place. There's so much fal falsity and, and disinformation and just straight up lies being thrown out into that picture. Well, if you notice, at first, the numbers were all about deaths, um, which is one thing. And now suddenly it's turned to just people getting the virus. Um, I don't really care if you get the virus. I care if you're dying. And now we our death numbers are going down. So. Yeah. Every, and from the beginning, they said everybody was going to get the virus who's going to get it. So how how are we just supposed to stay inside until the virus magically goes away? Doesn't make sense. It, a lot of things aren't making sense. And uh, behind us, you can see the result of that. The, the, state, the state and the city of Los Angeles particularly is still strangled with lockdowns that have no place in science, no place in the reality that we're seeing today. And uh, we need to get it turned around. We need to get this state opened up. We need to get this country back to its foundations of freedom, liberty, responsibility, opportunity, and we will soar and become great again. And that's why I wear this hat, y'all. So thanks so much, Christian. We appreciate your input and your wisdom fighting for freedom out here, you guys. This is Christian Walker. Where can we find you online? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Christian Walker. Ian Walker is a number one. I have a YouTube channel, Christian Walker, and I also have a blog, thechristianwalker.com. Amazing. And I'm John Strand. You can find me under hashtag Truth Maverick across all social media platforms. Reporting live in Hollywood for Totally LA, a new right network. Don't give up the fight. God bless America and vote. <laughs>